What's going on, cowboy? In this video, I've got a new NFT project I'm releasing a new NFT collection this week. Now, if you're new to crypto and you don't know what an NFT is, it stands for non fungible token. Okay, essentially, in a sentence, it is a digital piece of art that you can claim sole proprietary ownership over, right? Like, this is your, like, in unequivocally, unequivocally. Look at me trying to be smart. You know, like this is for sure yours, right? A hundred percent, this is yours, and no, and you could prove that to anybody, and no one can, you know, take that right from you or take that verification or validation from you. Okay, that's what an NFT is. Now, also, if you're new to crypto, currently right now we find ourselves in a market that's favoring two major trends. The first trend, NFTs. The second trend metaverse okay these two trends if you put these two things in your crypto project you are essentially you know it's like the recipes for success in crypto right now so these are very very hot trends so this nft project actually merges those two in a use case a marriage that i've never seen before okay they've got the partnerships they got a, uh, a utility that i've never seen before uh they've got uh the the team behind it they've got the concept behind it they got the artwork so there's a lot to really unpack here the the project is called metaverse comics and they are releasing a new nft collection called mini doggies okay so you don't get you know stopped by the name here let's just l unpack this thing just for a second here if you're new to this channel my name is aaron i'm on a journey to my next bitcoin while helping you to your next bitcoin i'm not your financial advisor i'm just a cowboy exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency with a lizard brain gorilla arms and diamond hands with a whole bunch of other cowboys if you want to join us hit the subscribe button down below before we get too far into this video this is a sponsored video right i was compensated for this video but that doesn't you know uh, to me, that's a, a barrier to entry to where people have to pay to, to get me to review them uh, in a fair and unbalanced way. And uh, I think we've got like a, a winner here, you know what I mean? But, you know, you do your own research, you make your own call here. I don't want to be I want to be super impartial here. But here essentially is the the project Metaverse Comics. And like I said, you've got two trends here. So just keep that in mind. In crypto right now, there are two trends, Metaverse and NFTs. Those two are blowing up. And so what we have here is like a comic book style um, NFT. And it really says their mission statement right here. Our mission is to bridge comics to the metaverse with NFTs. Okay. So you're, you're essentially taking these two major trends and you're merging it together. And we're going to see how that merges together. Okay. Essentially, they got the team and we'll go through the team in a little bit. But here's what they're selling or, or what, the, yeah, what they're selling. If they've got a collection called Mini Doggies coming out. Now there are two things, right? You've got comics that they're selling and these mini doggies. Okay, the first thing are the mini doggies. And the mini doggies can be found on OpenSea and they look like this, right? And I'll, I'll share with you the use case in, in a second. The second thing is a comic book, right? And the comic book is actually like, there's three comic books that they're planning on releasing. One is being released you know, this week. The other two books are in the future, right? And so the end goal, let me start with the end goal. The end goal is for them to develop a metaverse, okay? Their, their own metaverse. And they're using the comic comic book style to tell the story, behind, the backstory behind the metaverse. And they're using these NFTs as exclusive access to premium content on the metaverse. So if you own, there are different, three different rarities, right? Common, rare, and super rare. So if you own one of these, uh, you know, these NFTs, you're actually owning access to their metaverse and, you know, access to different, you know, uh, uh, protocols or, or areas to their metaverse. You could stake these things and earn money back or cash back and all that kind of stuff. So that's what's happening. Now let's talk about the team and the partnerships because this is very interesting. So the same team that is running this, okay, the same team, let me, let me go back to the beginning, right? The same team that is running this is actually, see here's Victor here, is actually the same team that runs a project we've seen here before and that's Media Eye. Media Eye is an NFT portal or platform where they mint and create NFTs, you know, digital pieces of art, okay? And so if you scroll down here, you can see that this team, here's Victor right here, and then you know here's victor right here same same dude these are the same guys felipe felipe it's just comic book style okay so and obviously they brought in you know like vera their 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 
artist and we'll get to her later. But here's the thing, Media Eye and their team is partnered with Bluezilla, which is why I was able to, you know, partner with them cuz you know, if you if anyone knows what Bluezilla is, Bluezilla is an incubator that only picks the best projects. Like if you have a project listed on Bluezilla like they're backing you, chances are it's a great project okay we invest incubate and accelerate they vet their projects like you know heavily and so if a project comes from bluezilla you could almost bet good money that it's going to be a success so we have got the media i team who's partnered with bluezilla now launching uh, who own an nft platform now launching their own nft you know collection which is going to be the use case for a future metaverse okay so now i start to see why bluezilla started to invest in these guys as or, or you know partner with these guys and the reason why is because when i met them i thought their whole gig was just an nft portal but it's actually much bigger than that it's an it's a metaverse and using the nft portals and the nfts merging the two together Okay, great. Now, I did have a problem with this, okay? And my and my only problem is I just have a, a re, you know, one of those reactionary affinities to like dog and meme coins, okay? It's just what it is, all right? I don't know if it's fair or not, but it's just how the market has scarred me, whatever. So, one thing that I didn't like also, I was like, eh, not didn't like, but I was a little sketchy on was the artwork. I'm like, okay, is this artwork cheap? Like who's behind the artwork? Uh, and so to, I don't want to downplay anything because art is very subjective and is very, uh, you know, personal. If you, you know, if you attack it, you're attacking really the artist. So I had to do some research on who this Vera was. Vera, her, 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 Right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this uh, is apparently a legit artist. Like, look at her like work that she's doing. Um, I guess like is this postmodern? I'm not like the artist. <laughs> I'm not the artist. I, I swear. But she looks like she's a legit artist. Okay, so she looks like she does real artwork. Um, this is not like some fly by night. Like I paid someone on Upwork to come in here. No, she's a legit artist. Who's wow, two thousand dollars, dude. People are buying. I mean, like. Let's check out this artwork. You know, at least she should be putting this on an NFT. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so yeah. So she's um, a legit artist. I think she's out of Ukraine, um, and they've contracted her or put her on the team or she joined the team. I'm not sure how the relationship happened uh, to then create these comic books. Okay, and the comic books are then made to tell the story about the metaverse and then grant access into their future metaverse and how do we know that that metaverse is coming up well we don't but it does have a lot of credibility because media i just launched with bsc pad and with um uh, bluezilla and bluezilla is one of their partners so now you see kind of like the, the roundabout way that i'm coming about this not the roundabout way just like the full encompassing context on on how i see this project so here we are we've, we've got these comic book nfts coming out with these uh with this new collection on OpenSea coming out which has different use cases on the metaverse on the future metaverse that's coming out okay so that's pretty much it i mean like i'm not sure you're gonna have to do your own research on this guys i i, I like here's what i do i like the team i trust the team i like the partnerships i trust those partnerships they come with a lot of credibility. I don't I, I don't personally connect with the comic book style. I do, however, connect with the metaverse style. So if you if you have like a meta like a comic book metaverse, that to me sounds very, very interesting. That sounds like uh, that sounds like that sounds like Marvel would get involved. You know what I mean? That sounds like a whole bunch of like superheroes would get involved. That sounds like very uh, a, a wide appeal. I don't think people read comic books anymore, but it's just the way to you know tell the backstory for the metaverse, which is the very interesting thing. Anyways, guys, do your own research. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just bringing you this project, but this was a very interesting project with some real big credibility behind it. But again, you have to make your call. If you make money here, you know that's on you. Good job. If you lose money, well, that's also on you. You could blame me, but that's also on you. Guys, lizard brains, right? We don't overthink this. Gorilla arms, diamond hands, cowboys always ride together, and I will see you in the next.